Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. Hello everyone in the chat. All right, you guys, if you wanna get a personal reading from me, just click the link in the description box below this video. And um, welcome, welcome. Please remember the messages. It's a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate for all of you. Just take what fits, leave the rest. All right, you guys, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. All right, obviously, the Six of Swords popped out. Let's see what's going on here. Virgo's drama. Dra drama. Virgo's drama. Okay. So, Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Temperance. There you are, Virgo, showing up in your reading. Or you're connecting with another Virgo or a Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. All right, the devil center of the reading. Oh my goodness. Five of Pentacles. Virgo, somebody's got it bad for you. Chariot, Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you connecting with another sign, another earth sign? Somebody's waiting for you, okay? Something's off the table here, Virgo. A relationship, something's not moving forward. And I feel like you've got somebody here who's waiting to see where you are. They're looking out into the distance watching oh okay here we go sitting on the duck of the bay there you go watching the tide <laughs> roll away okay it could be an earth sign doesn't have to be but this person oh seven, uh, seven of swords reversed getting caught Getting, somebody's getting caught here. Okay, there's a Six of Cups also was here. Reconciliation, obviously. But I feel like for some of you, maybe there was a, a marriage or a relationship that's no longer moving forward. Some of you may have decided you're not going to move something forward with someone anymore. This person's looking for you, Virgo. They're wondering... Some of you Virgos might have done the ghosting thing, okay? But somebody here is wondering, thinking about you, looking for you, waiting for you to either reach out or show up. All right, let's get some love messages. What are the love messages? <clears throat> Virgo, Virgo went ghost. Virgo's ghosting. Okay, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. It's safe for you to love. Okay, Virgo, some of you are just letting go of someone. Clearing the energy is how I feel, okay? Not staying in this similar, same energy anymore. And I feel... Like, if you were dealing with someone in the past, this person is picking it up. They're sensing that either you're gone or you're just no longer staying involved. There might have been a lot of obstacles in this relationship, okay? You guys may have had different uh, upbringings, be it religious, economical, race, geographical, um, different belief systems, you know, the spiritual path on different spiritual paths. But overall, I just kind of get a sense that, <clears throat> you know, Virgo, even if you are still communicating or connecting with someone, still talking to somebody, your energy is different. And even if you're not, your energy is just completely different. You've changed something. And I feel like this person senses it. Maybe that you're not chasing after somebody any longer. So let's take a look at your person here, okay? Some of you have definitely released this person. Let's, um, let's see. 
Six of Swords. Because this is facing fears. Your person is facing some kind of fearful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ten of Swords here. So it feels like your person feels like this. They, they're going to try to salvage the relationship because they feel like you're like done. You're done. They don't want this to be done. So what do they have to do? They have to fight these fears, fight whatever. I'm just, I picture someone like crawling and scraping, try to bring a relationship back, okay? And I know some of you are just like, well, okay, but I'm not in that place anymore. Yeah, this person, look at this, putting in the effort, really making, trying to make something work here, consistency. I feel like this person is going to try to overcome whatever issues they had. Sixes are always about love and harmony. This person, your person, whomever they are, they feel like they were the ones that blocked or sabotaged. It's I'm just hearing it's my fault. This person saying it's my fault. Maybe they blamed you in the past. Maybe they said you were crazy. Maybe they just gave you this impression or sense that it was you and not them. But they may have told you it's me, not you. <laughs> Strange. Hold on a minute. I'm going to pull a couple. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to free themselves from. Oh, sorry. They're trying to free themselves from the obstacles that they placed in front of your relationship. Sorry, I'm just so popular. What can I say? Um, because of this Ten of Wands, and that's Aquarian energy here. So, of course, I can't pick up the cards. You know what? I need to make like a little path here and trail. And I'm going to show you. Okay, look. See, this person put blocks up in front of the relationship, made it really difficult to move forward. Look how, if he, if this guy here did not have, was not carrying all this extra weight or these burdens, I feel like it's not like these are burdens or extra weight that just happened to them i feel like they actually were the ones who picked up those sticks and blocked and made the path made it really difficult made it exhausting and draining i don't feel like you did i feel like they just kind of came up with this these ex either excuses or they were too busy or there's just all these obstacles or all this stuff and kind of left you feeling like okay well all right then i guess i better go because you're really not trying to overcome these obstacles with me. You're really not. You're actually being, you're the one who's putting the blocks up. And here with the fool, I feel like this person's like freeing themselves from that now. Why? Because <laughs> simply you are releasing the energy. You're different now and they sense this. You're not fighting for the connection. Or at least you're not showing that you're fighting for it. <clears throat> All right. Look at temperance here. Temperance is about patience, harmony, matter, moderation, bringing things back into balance. And I feel like that's what their intentions. Are you kidding me? Temperance on temperance? That's a double yes. Bringing, this person is going to try to bring things back into balance here with you. The devil is at the center of, the center of this reading. It just feels to me like this person's insanely physically obsessed, attracted to you. You know, like can't let go. Chained together, bound for life. And some of you, I feel like some of you feel that way as well about your person. But... When I look at this card, I just kind of feel like, yes, you're bound for life, but you're not, oh my goodness, yes, you're bound for life, but there's no connection 
being made here. Look how they're not touching each other. Yes, they're attached, but they're not physically touching each other. Maybe you, you two are not able to physically touch each other for whatever reason, but there's a gap here between the two of you. Let's take a look. I mean, Virgo, the, you and this person are an absolute match. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't matter what sign you are or your person is. It's just that you both are on the same page. You both have an understanding of one another. You both have stability and groundedness in each of your lives. But I... I so... I feel like <clears throat> the connection is so strong that you both actually repel one another. It's so strong that you repel one another. Does that make sense to you? It's like the closer that you get, the further away, you, the further you pull away from each other. All right. You know what? I'm going to clarify this devil. It's kind of like... <laughs> Maybe there's a history of both of you investing and then nobody doing anything or having no response to the investment. Or there's a history of like coming together and then shooting off in different directions and then coming back together again. It's, it's rather roller coastery with the two of pentacles here. Let me take a look at your energy. Because this, this person, whoever, whoever they are, past, present, I mean, this person is, they're aware that you broke this connection in some way, shape, or form. It may not even have been said, but it's a feeling of, guess that's it. I guess that's over. And they don't want it to be over. So they're looking for you. And they're waiting to see. They may even be trying to put something out there towards you, like some messages or coming to visit you or connecting with you and i feel like virgo you're just sitting there you're in healing mode here some of you are hoping for a miracle this person does view you as someone who's like um honey you are my shining star don't you go away there you go you know i gotta do my little cameo singing here aquarian energy is pretty heavy in this reading and Sagittarius let me see here it's a star oh here's strength Leo they admire your courage Virgo they admire your courage to walk away from them this person I swear I feel they're not showing that they're shocked they they have like um a poker face but I feel like this person is kind of saying to myself did Virgo really leave is is Virgo really done like it's hitting them right now I just want to pull a card for the king of pentacles yep it's hitting them they're seeing things a lot differently now they've been waiting and maybe hoping that you were going to chase after them or you're going to reach out or something and they're sensing now that you're not, that it's done, that it's over. And they're not, they don't want that to happen. They, they're not going to allow that. Piscean energy there. Let's take a look at this devil. Because I feel like this person is insane, like stuck on you. This person is stuck on you. Oh, hello, King of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy, but not sharing their emotions. That feels more like, that feels a lot like, for, for a lot of you, Scorpio. A Scorpio, um, very deep feelings, but also very obsessive tendencies. And very um, se actual as well. Let's get a clarifying card. Some of you... Some of you might have 
someone new that you're talking with at this time, but you're not sure about that person or if you want to, you know, move forward with them and they're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen because they may be feeling like you're still trying to release your ex. Okay, that might be a story for some of you. Um, let's see this King of Cups. Wow, King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. And if the King of Swords show up, then Virgo, you're hot to trot. You have um, you have quite a few su suitors here. You have quite a few people who are interested. You've got two people who are absolutely obsessed and stuck on you. You have another person um, who's waiting to see what you will do or if you're going to move forward with them. But your person is currently having a conversation with another person, their friend or someone about you. About how they feel about you, Page of Cups. About if they should reach out to you, if it can work. There's, there's a huge blockage here. There's, there's some kind of blockage between the two of you. Like, there's definitely a physical attraction. There's no doubt. That's never going to go away. I feel like when this person thinks of you, they catch fire. You know what I mean? Even though <clears throat> it may not work. And I feel like your person was sabotaging the relationship because they knew, and you knew, that the obstacles, at least you thought, the differences between the two of you just you just couldn't envision how that would work out it feels mostly like an obsessive se actual kind of reading let's see this person feels like kind of left out in the cold and abandoned um they're broke <laughs> totally this person's gone broke and they're trying to make their money back um, they're trying to hit it big with lottery or gambling or whatever they're trying to do. They're trying to make change. They're scraping pennies between the couch cushions. <laughs> Just trying to get like a burger or something. <laughs> but the Wheel of Fortune is always a card about, you know, they feel that it's you and them, like it's a favorable connection. But they, you know, I feel like, what are these burdens? I want to see what you know there's definitely um you guys have maybe different morals or different values you were raised differently but why were they blocking mostly okay they just said mostly this person was blocking or putting obstacles because they still wanted to maintain their freedom they didn't want to be in a committed relationship so they wanted to maintain um their autonomy so they would come up with, oh, okay, six of swords. So they would come up with reasons why things weren't going to move forward. And I feel like for you, Virgo, you just you just released or you're currently releasing. Now look, six of swords is here. But see, that's changing. The six of swords, again, overcoming fears, going towards the light, mental, you know, whatever mental struggle, freeing themselves. Um, this person definitely, definitely had a fear of abandonment. It's, I don't feel like it's fear of commitment, fear of abandonment, because in some ways in their mind, they felt they were committed. They like in their mind, there isn't anybody else for them. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it feels like they sabotaged or put obstacles in front so that they wouldn't have to have you leave them it's very strange i don't know they had a, a premonition or a thought that maybe that would happen to them one day and they couldn't bear that so it's kind of like didn't want to let go but didn't want to push forward i was clarifying temperance I have the Knight of Cups. See, their idea of bringing things into balance is expressing how they feel. They struggle with that, but it feels like this person, they want to, they're going to express. They want to express to you during this time period their love for you. 
and bring peace and balance and harmony uh, and stability back into this connection. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look here going forward. Okay, so Four of Pentacles. And it is safe for you to love. I feel like this person, something about them makes them feel safe with you. And I do feel like they're coming in here. They want to open up and tell you that they love you or tell you... Give you their love and have you receive. Because look, release your ex. You're clearing your energy. And this person is also clearing out the energy of someone they were connected with. To invite, to give and receive the energy between the two of you. That might have been a, an obstacle um, for some. They had somebody else. I'm not predicting at this point, like right now that there is somebody else. I'm not seeing that. I feel um, there just might have been an energy left over from somebody else that they just were not ready to release. All right, so Cancer energy here, chariot movement forward, taking action, making change. They just feel lost without you, Virgo at this time, despite the differences and the challenges. I feel like they're clearing those blockages. All right, show me the chariot. Okay, the sun. And the two of wands, okay. This person knows that this partnership is very positive. It's a positive, it's a good thing. Okay, it's a good thing between the two of you. And as this person stands at their crossroads, they're seeing this now. And with the chariot taking action to come towards you, this could actually be travel or it could just be getting in the car and coming over to see you, not wanting to lose the connection between the two of you. Look, holding on, holding on, a bit possessive, a bit possessive. Yep, five of wands. Nobody's going to have you. Your person might have said that to you before. You're mine. Or said something about you is theirs. <laughs> okay, you're mine. Nobody else. No one else can have you. They'll fight off anyone and everyone. As soon as they get a whiff or a scent of another suitor, it their thing is like, nope, nobody can have Virgo. Virgo's mine. Some of you are totally creeped out by this because <laughs> I mean you know and others of you are like yeah bring it <laughs> what the heck yep page of swords on the two of pentacles here weighing options and communicating with you this person is legit on so okay this is the message they're giving me here one day they're stalking the heck out of you. They're spying on you. They're looking for you. They want to see what you're doing. And the next day they're busy doing their own thing. But then the day after that, they're watching you. So some of you are picking up this energy of like you can feel them. You can feel their eyes on you. And then the next day you don't feel anything. And then the day after that, you feel it again. So that's what's going on. This person is trying to moderate themselves <laughs> they're trying to find out where you are and you might be showing yourself one day and then not showing yourself the next day but take my word for it they are extremely curious about you they might even be trying to text you or email or call to find out you know where you've been what you're doing you're you're very unpredictable that's what they see you may not be but you're showing yourself to be very unpredictable to them and it's quite challenging because they have no idea of what you're thinking or feeling or what you're doing because you're completely clearing your energy here of this person. You're releasing this person. Like they may not be an ex. They might be an ex now. You're moving on. You're letting go. 
No, they just said pull a card for the release your ex. Okay. Yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the High Priestess. Virgo, <clears throat> you're in quiet mode. You're keeping secrets. You're not saying anything. You're being very sleuthy. <laughs> You're being very sleuthy. You're, you're releasing in silence. And that's your card, Virgo, right here. This is you, the queen, okay, of intuition. Even if you're a male, okay? You're being very sleuthy and sly. You're like, shh. I just, I'm hearing that Mission Impossible song in my head. Is that it? Virgo, you're on like, I don't know, you're like S uh, CIA, you're spying. I don't know what it is in other countries. Um, not spying, but you're just, you're just hush hush. You're not saying anything. Because Virgo, I feel like because this person kept putting up obstacles, you just, you're exhausted from it and you're not fighting it anymore. You're just like, whatever, you're moving on. <laughs> Keep it moving, Virgo. All right, let's get some love messages here from this person. Yeah, you are gonna get communication from them. And it's, it's like straight up curiosity. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, how come I haven't seen you? Or how come you, sh you pop up and then you disappear? Virgo, I just saw, oh my gosh, I just saw Batgirl from the 70s TV show. I don't really know if you remember her. She was, she had this gorgeous, sexy, uh, purple um, Batgirl costume. And she would show up and then she would just take off. And Batman was, <laughs> I'm aging myself, but Batman was always like, Where'd she go? Where'd she go? <laughs> Virgo, this person is looking for you, wanting to know where you went, what you're doing. All right, let's get some love messages here. Hi, you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you because I'm obsessed with you and you're all I want. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes my ass, more like all times thinking about you. I mean, this is like staying awake thinking about you because then they can control the narrative of you being in their life. See, when they're, when they're sleeping thinking about you, they're not really a part of it. It's just dreamland. No, this person wants you in their reality and they can't have you in their reality because you're that girl. <laughs> You sleuthy, sly, sneaky Virgo. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Yeah, for some of you, the spiritual lesson is we're not on the same spiritual path. I'm out. For some. Just being near you is intoxicating. Oh my gosh, there's... There is obsession all over this reading, Virgo. When the devil is in the center of the reading, point blank, period. And the devil's not always a bad card. But this is like when you two are physically together, there is fireworks. Lava is melting down the walls. There's a hurricane up above. I mean, there's lightning. You name it. And this is all that person thinks about. Now, I know if you haven't been together in a while, trust me when I tell you, they're still dreaming about that. They're still thinking about that with you. Those things that you did, Virgo, let me tell you what, no one was able to replicate that. 
You speak to me through music. I feel like that card shows up all the time. I want to be more than friends. Hmm. Virgo's like, Batgirl and Batman are not friends. The timing just wasn't right for us. Excuses. I lost myself for a little while. Oh, well. I love you unconditionally. No, you love Virgo obsessively, whoever you are. And damn right you should because Virgo is amazing. Okay. You can't do anything wrong. This person, they had their own issues. And I think Virgo, you just made the decision that, you know what? I'm clearing this shit out. Like I'm taking out the trash. I'm not dealing with this stuff anymore. And they can obsess all they want because that's what I got it going on. Seven, so savage. What do, what do you say in the, um, what's your, what's your, I can never put quotes and words together except when I do readings because I'm not putting them together. I'm channeling. Um, Something about your I'm awesome because I'm it. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. My life is not as together it seems. Yeah, because you can't function, sir, because you're or female, because you're constantly thinking about Virgo. You're not getting any. This person's not getting any work done. They are not getting anything done. All they're spending all day looking to see if they can catch a glimpse of you or to see where you are or what you're doing or where you've been. I'm starting to understand our connection. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully they're understanding that they can't be without you. I'm becoming a better person. Good for them. They may have told you that or said they're trying to be better. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, obviously. I replay our conversations over and over. This Virgo, like if I keep pulling these cards, it, it couldn't be any more clear that this person is crazily obsessed with you. And I feel like this is a continuation of the same. But currently, they are looking for you and waiting, and they're wondering why you, they expect you to, uh, that's what I feel like a lot of you, this person is expecting you to chase them down, and you're not. And that's pulling them more towards you now because they have no other choice but to reach out. So right now they're stalking to see what's going on. See if you're with somebody else or if you if they're looking for signs of life, Virgo. And some of you are not giving any signs at all. Oh, I saw this but a different one when I looked in this jar. So here's your charms, you guys. So we have a strawberry. Oh boy, sweet, very sweet. You're, are you eating strawberries right now, Virgo? Are you having some strawberries? Oh, okay, I'll come back to that, but they just showed me this ship with the sail. Like Virgo, for some of you, you're just like, that ship has sailed. Yeah, this ship has sailed, Virgo on your part the ship has sailed this person if you were dealing with um a male this person look they show up as like a um, little boy behavior and i think for a lot of you it felt like games because this boy's got like a baseball hat on so it's kind of like playing games <laughs> What is up with this strawberry? Oh, that's weird. It's got a white heart on it. Strawberry with a white heart. You know, I know this is gonna sound strange. I'm actually smelling the scent of a strawberry or something. I'm smelling it. And it smells like, um, I don't know if it's a candle, because it has, a, it has, I feel warmth with it. It's not just a sweet strawberry smell, but I feel a, a warmth that's connected to this. So I don't know if you have a candle burning, or this person is burning a candle. Maybe, uh, do they make strawberry scented candles? I don't know. 
It feels warm. Oh gosh. Okay. They just, all right. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to say this, but something some of you guys used during intimacy was strawberry scented and it warmed up because I'm not feeling it there. All right. I'm just feeling warmth all around. <laughs> so I feel like this person like is thinking about that it doesn't have to be strawberry scented but maybe it was bubblegum I don't know but it was something that warmed up if you didn't use something like that they're thinking about that or they're using it themselves <laughs> thinking about you oh my goodness oh we have a lion okay leo energy I know some of you here are, you got Leos. Wow, this is like fierce. The male, um, this is a, not lioness, this is a lion. So for some of you Virgo males, this could be you. You're like roaring, you're like in beast mode right now. And that's very attractive to this person. I don't care if you're not beasty looking. You're just in beast mode. You're like taking on this aggressive uh, royal, holier than thou kind of attitude right now. And your person is finding that very attractive. But also there are some females who are doing this as well. You're just in, it just feels like very beast mode. I feel like getting another one. And then I'm going to go do the singles. Okay. So we have a hacksaw. Hacksaw rich. Um, Okay, well, you know, somebody might be sawing. I don't know. Would somebody here be sawing while you're listening to my video? But this feels to me... Or, or, okay, they just said um, the person that you were connecting with used a saw. Maybe they were like a carpenter. And there's something here about teeth getting teeth aligned maybe braces somebody might be getting braces or getting their teeth something done with their teeth maybe you have sharp teeth or you got your somebody's got their like you're in vampire mode <laughs> that is so bizarre i forgot to get your advice card so let me take a look This is just the Virgo drama continuing, continuation. And wasn't there a TV show called House of Cards? Now we have House of Virgo. Um, you guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. It's I changed my name to House O Virgo, all one word, the letter O, House of Virgo. So you can follow me on there. I don't use it. I think I have three things posted, but um, somebody's going to help me with that to figure out what to post on there. I don't really know what to post. Okay. Seven of Swords. Loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. So your advice is to take... Your advice is to take caution and beware of others' actions. There may be a material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and... Watch out for embarrassing secrets that might come out. Also, if some of you like to run or you're jogging or something, um, just be mindful of where you're running if you're outside. Be careful. Um, like, look where you're look where you're going. I just feel like. That's a message coming in. Even if you're on a treadmill or something, maybe don't go too, too fast. Just be mindful of your heart rate and be mindful of your steps. I had some fell out and I put them back in. I don't know why. Four of Wands. All right. You have so much to celebrate right now, Virgo. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Well, you know, Virgo, you're pretty much in peace mode as well as beast mode. Like you're you're just taking a back seat right now, I feel. 
peace and contentment are, are in your personal life in the month of October. You're going to be feeling that. And the Four of Wands can represent the 1111 balance, contentment, and commitment in marriage. And I did feel like your person was making big change here. Like they just, they can't, they thought when they had you that you wouldn't go or you wouldn't leave. And some of you just went quiet or silent or you went off the radar, um, maybe 100% or just a little. And now this person, they may not have noticed right away. Oh my goodness. They may not have noticed right away, but now they're taking notice because a lot of time seems to have passed for some four months, um, four weeks, for some four days. Um, for, for others, four years. And if it took somebody four years to notice that you were gone, fuck them. Keep it moving. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, Virgo, the good you do comes back to you. So a lot of you are getting um, your good karma coming back to you. It's coming, okay? For all you that you've gone through and all the good that you've put out there, it's coming back to you. For every coin that you contributed, you're getting 10 back, okay? An unexpected inflow, inflow of abundance. Some of you maybe have borrowed money. You're able to pay off any kind of debt or anyone that you borrowed from. And you're going to be able to share your wealth with others less, less fortunate. Where you were in a less fortunate position at some point, you are now in a better or will be in a better position going forward. So make sure you pay it forward or you give back, right? That's your advice. All right. Interesting reading. Again, let's take a look, Virgo, at the singles. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening, day, night. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Let me make sure my phone, my phone's always going off, but I have to keep it on. Everybody has to wait because <clears throat> I got my Virgos here in the house. It's always when you're busy, people reach out, isn't it, Virgo? Always when you're doing something, people reaching out. You don't hear from people all day long. But as soon as you get busy doing you, doing your life, taking care of things, either the past comes back or... People just want to, I'm telling you, energy is the thing. Energy is the thing. When you release that energy, people can feel it. They just feel like you're different in some way. <clears throat> because you're not giving any energy to something anymore. Now, some of you might be doing this on purpose. And if that's the case, it's working. Some of you might just be completely like moving on. <laughs> and if that's the case, well, that's happening too. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to use a different deck this time. Singles. Let's see what's going on for singles. Who is coming up for the singles, for Virgo singles? Forty-four oh one. Virgo singles. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, oh, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. All right, Virgo, Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So in about six months, Virgo, I'm telling you right now, your lover, six weeks, but it, initially I heard six months, six weeks to six months. Okay, some of you might have something happen a lot sooner. You could have an introduction to somebody before 
it actually comes into fruition. So what does that mean? Bumping into someone at a coffee shop, but nothing happens. And then you see them later at a different coffee shop. And then, then something begins. And then it's like, wait, didn't I just see you? All right. Um, for some of you, that's probably going to happen. Okay. Who is this person? All right. I'm going to straight up. Let me give it to you straight up. It was Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. <clears throat> No, this is not your ex. Okay. They just said to say, no, this is not their ex or their past person. Um, all right, Virgo, you're going to see this person online. You're going to meet them online. Now, some of you, that's just a small, that's a tiny portion. Some of you, this coffee shop keeps coming back to me. Um, you're both in this coffee shop. This is the images that I'm getting. You're both in this coffee shop. And you're both working on laptops. And neither one of you can see each other or you're even noticing one another but you're sitting fairly close well, someone is sitting in a bench the person your person this person for you is sitting in a at a bench and they're building a website or they're building something for their business okay they're very engrossed in this um this coffee shop is called uh, they just gave me eight o'clock. I don't know what that means. Eight o'clock. I feel like that's the name of the coffee shop. And this may not resonate for everybody. Okay. Or it's eight o'clock coffee or something along those lines. Okay. But, but you're looking down at your laptop or you're, you're doing your banking. You're looking at your, your bank or something or your money. And this person's working, they're building like some kind of business or website or something. So yeah, neither one, you're both blinded. You're blind to each other. You don't see each other. But this is crazy. This is just very, this is how it starts. All of a sudden, love happens. This person sees you. And they come over to you, not on the same day, a couple of days later, and they offer to buy you a cup of coffee or macchiato, okay, something like, or a cappuccino. Oh, and they also have those, they're like cookie breadstick things too. <laughs> There's cookie breadsticks. What the heck are those? Oh, they're like pockies. They're, it's like a pocky. They offer you a pocky or something. Do you know what a pocky is? Look it up. It's called a pocky. Virgo, I see you kind of like everybody's always buying me coffee and no one really interests me and you get really stressed because you don't really f this person okay all right straight up look it's brian laundry brian laundry you run into brian laundry he offers you a cup of coffee look he's bald okay no male or female it doesn't matter this person um you're stressed about it maybe you don't feel like they're your type or you're just not attracted to them and you know what? I kind of feel like, though, that you're connecting with each other, but this person keeps offering to buy you coffee or drinks or something. <laughs> and you finally, like, I just feel like you, you catch on and you, because this person is so sincere and they keep surprising you with this coffee. Like, they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to connect with you. And you know what, Virgo? You finally see how generous, sweet, and kind they are. Like, because that 
is what gets you. That is what strikes you the most, how giving and hospitable this person is. Not their looks, not the fact that maybe they're, they've lost their hair, not the fact that they're dressed like a school teach, a school marm, okay, for the men, if you're interested in women, that they're covered from head to toe. It's their genuine nature and their care. And then look. There's like love here, supportive energy. There's the Ace of Cups here and that dove. You know, I'm not going to sing when doves cry. I'm just not going to do it. But I kind of feel like this person, um, they have this nature about them. They're very similar to you where they're very hospitable and service oriented and they like to give. They like to give to others. They do a lot of... Um, well, not a lot. They just in general, they do charity work. They help with charities. So this is something you'll find out about them. They, they do charity work, okay? They also help families, is how I feel, and people with anxiety issues. And this website they're building has something to do with, like, um, it's kind of like a Habitat for Humanity or something. Um, or they do this work. It's social work is how I feel, but it's volunteer. It's a really good person, it feels like. And there's no craziness with this. This is a kind of connection I see here where you both partner up and you have a goal and a purpose together. And that is something that you share with one another that keeps your relationship um going strong like there's a real it's like a blessing this person is like a blessing coming in for you and it's not someone that i feel like you would normally find yourself attracted to but their sincerity you feel safe with this person their generosity they're not out trying to win the hearts of many for their looks or um, their money. This person is very involved in their craft. It feels very authentic. Yeah, very soon. This is going to happen. For some, like I said, six weeks. For others, you know, it could be, what are we going, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, spring. This Ace of Cups is the spring card. Okay. I just want to pull a couple more cards here for you guys. They're telling me just a few more. What else? What else can we know about this person? Um, oh, I just heard the name Gary. Okay, for males, Gary. And then someone's name who starts with a P. Paula or Priyanka or Phineas. Strange, it's like very um, unorthodox kind of name it's not a, not the usual you know John name it they, they could be from another country uh, like a foreigner to you unless you are not in the US then it would be like a Paula or a Gary okay it feels kind of like for some of you I I, I just, I keep picking up this Jesus vibe. So I'm feeling like Jerusalem <laughs> for some of you. Two pentacles. Okay, very well balanced, this person. Very good with money. They're a lot like you, Virgo. I think this is what the, the draw is. This feels very soulmate-y, soulmate energy. So the Eight of Swords showed up in the reverse. So that makes me feel like 
no more isolation for you. This person does not do any of that victim stuff. Okay, victim card stuff. They don't. They don't placate or or they don't manipulate people um, with that. You know, arm in a sling, Ted Bundy crap. Can you help me carry my books? <laughs> they're just. They're not. This person's not even. They're so focused on their work and the stuff that they're doing and helping other people. This is when it. This is when love happens. When you're not looking for it, because look at both of you. This is both of you. Look. One's looking down at their work they're doing. The other one's looking at their laptop or whichever. Neither one. You're both distracted. And that's why love pops in. That's why it happens. Because you're not looking for it here. You're just going in for coffee. And doing your thing. That's it. And boom. Somebody's there. Some of you. Honestly, I feel the reason that this is happening is because you and this person are either so busy that you don't have time to be starting a new relationship at this time or you're both like you're both indifferent you're blocking um having love at this time maybe because you're releasing your ex still and you just want to spend some time on your own and uh, do your own thing and build your business or you know whatever you're doing you're not looking okay Oh, this person becomes very, very curious. They do have a curious streak. I will tell you that. They have a very curious streak. Like once they start talking to you, they want to know more about you. It's more of like they're trying to assess your situation. Like if you're single or, you know, what you're working on, what you're doing. Then it turns to this passionate, like you guys find a passion together. That's what I felt like. That's what I was saying you're both kind of in the similar um fields or you're both doing things that are very similar or just even the passion of you go to coffee shops and you do your work and this is like a thing that you both like to do okay yeah that's what i was saying both of you like have a heartbreak still kind of heartbroken and just i feel like your two souls that just meet up that are going through the same exact thing and you find each other and it's like perfect it's kismet okay look leaving the past behind and starting brand new having a new beginning and a new start i mean this is just amazing so scorpio as well here virgo taurus capricorn and they're just reiterating though this is not your ex Virgo okay and it doesn't always have to be your ex you you get yourself out there you can meet new people there's plenty of people look what happened with the last person's obsessed with you don't think it don't think that you're not a catch just because something didn't work out in the past if, if that person is obsessed with you from the past that it's a clear sign that you've got something going on and maybe you don't see it. Maybe you just think that person's creepy or weird. But no, it's because of the vibe you give out. I mean, you're like, you're something else, Virgo. You are special. Very, very special. Um, okay, I think I'm going to stop shuffling now so I don't get arthritis. But I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I hope that was fun and gave you some insight. Um, I am going to say goodbye. Okay. But before I actually click off, I want to tell you guys that if you, I've already added, I think, five people to be moderators for my channel on my WhatsApp today. If you um, are interested in becoming a moderator, just go over to your email, send me an email at moonpietarot uh, moon at gmail, okay? Tell me you want to be a moderator. Give me your YouTube name here, the name you, you sign in with here on YouTube, and your phone number. And then if you have that information, I will add you to the WhatsApp group. And in the WhatsApp group, the other moderators are in there. Some of them are here in the chat. And you guys, um, all the information will be in there of what's needed. And in lieu of moderating, I give a one card free reading to every moderator who shows up 
in the chat. So it'll be on Fridays from um, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm on the East Coast, so figure out where you are. If you are in Europe, it might be really difficult for me to add you on WhatsApp. I'm not sure why. I will try. If you're from Europe or somewhere not in America, I will try to add you, and hopefully that will work out. But make sure that you, you have to have WhatsApp because I have a WhatsApp group um, for moderators that the mods all chit chat in and that way we stay in contact with each other during the chat and and all that stuff okay and i'm really looking for people who are dedicated um you know no experience is necessary but if you have experience moderating in a tarot reading chat or you've seen it you know how it works that would be a really big help because i really need people it's probably going to be fairly busy and i really need people to pop in and like do your thing and Virgos are the ones who can get that done. I'm not controlling. I just have a specific things I like and then I leave it to you and you just bang it out, right? So definitely let me know. Send an email again to moonpytaro at gmail and then I'm going to get going. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Love you all very much. Take care.